Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, this is tutorial 3, branding for our parent company MSP and underneath companies in domain separated service now environment. So my name is Rajesh Chan and uh, today uh, I'll walk you through like how we can uh, brand the company uh, interfaces for ServiceNow. So we can have the uh, global interface can set up at the uh, MSP level or global level where the individual underneath companies can have the separate uh, uh, theme, separate uh, logo, separate uh, banner names. So let's understand how we can do that. So uh, it's just a very simple four step process. So step one is upload the logo image in ServiceNow. So we can go to ServiceNow, we can go to images, in system UI click on image, upload the uh, logo for the home page. So this here you can see this is the home page uh, logo. So we are planning to replace this. Okay, so no need to fill the category. Uh, let's fill home page logo dot GIM. It's mandated to give the extension of the uh, file. Choose the file. So I already have uh, a file ready. It's a PNG. I'll change the change it to the PNG. Okay. Okay. So PNG. It's a PNG file. Save it. Please ensure uh, you know the source is correct. All right, so our step one is completed. So I'm just uh, clicking on update and closing this. The step two says we need to change the banner image and uh, that we can do at system property, system and banner image. Okay, so I'm just copying this name. Going to system properties, system. And here we have certain settings like you know how much distance we need to keep uh, uh, before this logo. What is the name of this portal? So uh, let's change the portal name. Uh, I'm keeping it Rajesh Chan portal. And uh, we should have the banner image. So here you can see the banner equation. I can change it. The, change it with the one which we just uploaded and save it so keep in mind all these settings we are doing for the global so whatever settings we are doing uh, in the global that will automatically inherit it for all uh, underneath parent and child domains okay so uh, these uh, logo and these things uh, these logo and names will be reflecting in parent abc and xyz let's refresh the page and see if uh, we are able to see those changes all right here we can see the logo is appearing as well as the name got changed okay so i'm just changing the domain and see if it's uh, the same for the other domains as well so uh, it's same for the other domains as well as of now okay so this portal view depends on uh, the user associated with the company okay so what i'll do i'll impersonate with the, another user called abc.itil who is having itil access in abc company and we'll see if it's reflecting the same uh, header same logo so here we can see it's reflecting the same logo so let's see how we can change it based on the company so going back to the system administrator to make those changes so that's our step three in the documentation it says change the company specific theme first okay so we will first uh, create a theme and then we will update the company form okay so let's create a theme the theme says what should be the color of this header what how it should reflect uh, when we click on these uh, uh, menus what do we need any changes in the colors and the effects is there any separation border and other uh, details we need to change it so let's create a theme for the specific uh, customer so say we will uh, we are creating a theme now for abc customer so i'm uh, i'm just uh, having the same name okay here we need to mention the css so i have a css ready uh, so you can create your own CSS. 
you can change the uh, CSS according to the according to your requirement okay so if you want to change the header details you can change it if you want to have the separations and hover details you can change it here so I am creating a theme now let's save it okay so our, we are done with the step number three now let's uh, go to uh, step number four and uh, let's implement it update the company form so we need to update our company form with certain details okay so we are uh, planning to change the uh, banner and the text for ABC company so let's uh, we need to add these uh, four fields here on the form how we can add it you can click on the uh, right click on the uh, header configure form layout and you would be able to see these uh, four fields in the slash packet okay so I already added these four fields here right now uh, if uh, you cannot see it in this uh, right side selected bucket you can uh, add it from here like banner image uh, I just move it and you can just move it here again okay so we we need uh, these four fields banner tax this is the back strategy and service now we can change it banner image this is the banner image UI 16 banner image this is based on the current version of the uh, service now and the theme theme this uh, the theme which we just created okay so we will refer that theme so after adding these four fields so save it okay now say for this ABC I want uh, the banner as ABC service uh, ID portal or say ID service portal okay uh, we can have the banner image uh, separated from the one which is inherited from the global so i have already created an image here let's say this is the abc logo png file okay uh, again add the banner image okay and the theme we need to select the theme which we created abc underscore theme this is the theme we created okay and save it so keep in mind we just made the change in the company form of ABC company only we didn't make any change for XYZ and or the uh, parent company okay so as I am uh, if I just try to see if the changes are reflecting uh, I'll not be able to see because as of now I'm logged and using a system administrator so let's say uh, I change the domain refresh the page I cannot see the changes okay so what I do let's see let's impersonate with the again abc.itil user and see if the changes are reflecting for abc users so this is perfect uh, I can see a uh, I can see the logo got change I can see the text got change I can see uh, you know uh, it's working as per the theme we applied so the theme says like make the color green when I'm clicking it it's working if you see this separated header you can see a blue line across uh, this page okay so that's how we can make those uh, uh, company specific pages branding so uh, let's uh, see uh, the XYZ page XYZ user because we didn't make any change for the XYZ user let's go back to the system administrator first and then we will impersonate with XYZ IL user so as we didn't make any change for the XYZ company user, so they would be able to see the same logo, which which is inherited from the global domain. Okay, so in global domain, I can find the XYZ ITIL impersonating to XYZ ITIL, and if you have a look, there are no changes in the header and the uh, banner text as we didn't make any change for this XYZ company. So that's all. That's how we can do the branding. Uh, thank you so much.